What's up guys, we're back at the shelter. I'm making some uh, barbecue pork right now. Over the fire. It's coming out delicious. And um, as for today's situation, um, so I guess there was a massive garage fire up on the mountain. Uh, we had like two or three different departments come down into Whitefield Town. New Hampshire, and um, honestly, I'm a little disappointed at the community and the crew right now. Um, I was standing by next to some of the trucks, and I know where there's water, fire hydrants around, and I mentioned to uh, one of the firefighters that um, was filling up the truck to go fight the fire at the fire hydrant that instead of waiting for the second tanker and the third tanker to wait for him to fill up, that right there in the square, not 100 yards away, was another fire hydrant, and that they could be filling multiple trucks at the same time. I got yelled at by one of the firefighters to mind my own business when there were other people actively, civilians, actively taking part in hooking up and being in the way with their children of the firefighters and I got yelled at and some of the civilians were telling me that I needed to mind my own business and leave um, but the thing is is I live here you know I hang out at that, that store and I charge my phone and I go out and I do things for people every day today for instance my buddy he's in a wheelchair he comes down it's an electric wheelchair and he only ever come he had a stroke right so he can't walk his legs I don't think work but he always comes down in just some old slippers and some old socks and some real thin gray pajamas. So I went across to the thrift store and I bought him a $2 blanket. And he came out of the store and I said, hey, I got a surprise for you. Close your eyes. He closed his eyes and I set it on his lap. And um, he opened his eyes and he looked thankful. He looked like he wanted to cry. But I knew that, you know, you love. You just love people. And... Um, I don't know, it just hurt my feelings, you know? Um, I, th I think, I think, I think the community treating me the way that they have been are hurting themselves more than helping themselves. Because, you know, I used to be a security officer, and the definition of an officer is somebody that was in the armed, serv or armed forces that protects or polices people, individuals. I was in the Marines, and I was an officer for Dorigo Security Services guarding all-girls summer camps, you know, and I've owned firearms. I've, I've, you know, there's nothing on my background that makes me anything except for a good, loyal, loving individual. I have kids. I've helped a lot of the families around here feed their children even when it has been very, very hard going. You know, I, I'm proud to say I've stolen Similac, baby formula before. I've straight gone into stores and put it down my pants and left just to go feed children when everybody was out of money. And the families that I have done that for have shown the love back and given me free cigarettes and, you know, free green, you know, just... All of it. And there's certain evil individuals around here that want to make up their own story and their own opinionation on me because they have what's called the bully syndrome. They have nothing to do because they're lazy, so they make things up to fill their day in, regardless if it's good for that person or not. Which 99% of these guys, 100% of these guys, I would drag out of a fucking tractor trailer truck's way and get hit for them. And they want to run, they want to take me, which everybody loves. You'd love to chew on this right now. I know you would. But what if I, what if I rubbed it around in the dirt, rolled it all around and then gave it to you and said, here you go. You'd feel really bad. You'd want to go home and throw up and cry because, you know, and this goes back to them taking my mobile homestead, um, New Hampshire protected it, it's it's called the New Hampshire Homestead Protection Act, right? If you live in your vehicle and it's the only property that you have, then it's automatically covered by the exemption in bankruptcy, which you don't have to file for. <laughs> and there's no paperwork, nothing. That turns the vehicle into equity, a home, which cannot be indebted to creditors. And they took it. 
they took it away from me and now I'm living up in the woods in uh, my boss's property. This is my boss's property. And he told me that I'm my own boss and I can do what I want. I can work when I want. Um, he lets me use his shop, his sink, his bathroom. And uh, he gave me this wood stove. He gave me this wood stove to take up here and live. And the whole public of Whitefield, New Hampshire, not the whole public, but a good select group of them that I can say for certain aren't good people because of the way that they present themselves and their characters that they build for themselves. They're snakes. Are ruining my life and trying to get me killed and follow me up here. And there's probably people outside right now listening to this that can follow my tracks up in my path and stand around my shelter and do all of this and they think that there's no repercussions. You guys want to see something cool? Remember how I said I talked with the FBI and all that? I said that because I did. This is all I'm going to show you. Okay? This is what they gave me today. Now, I know for a fact that someone's been going through my mail and opening it and getting into my stuff because the whole town of Whitefield seems to know what my mail is before I can even open it. Day in and day out, there's vehicles that are posted up to police me. And you know what? I think it's the mob. I think that I found something out about them. And now they fucking hate me and they want me dead. Now the thing about it is, I end up dead. And the people, you know what it takes to get one of those? A really, really good reason. Those are normally $300. You know what I got it for? Free. You know why? Because I am this fork right here. I am delicious. I am shiny. I am beautiful. And I'm exactly what people want. Hang on. I got to stir this. So, yeah, I'm disappointed in the community right now. Not the whole community, just the ones that know better or should know better, and still choose to portray themselves and act as children, and do things for people that they know are bad. People down in town that are doing drugs, and leaving their garbage everywhere, such as their clothes, their amenities. I found two sets of clothes out on the sidewalk, out on the sidewalk, with tents and stuff and all sorts, they're trashing the public. They're trashing it. They've already broken into places. They've already been found living in... The, the, and everybody is getting mad at me. A, because the people doing that are, are saying that it's me. B, because the people doing that are trying to portray themselves as me and make me look like I'm affiliated with them. And C, they're bad people and need someone to blame. So they're using me as a scapegoat. Now, that being said, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I know what I'm going to do, but I'm saying I don't know what I'm going to do because there's people that watch this. Yeah, you. You right there. That keep tabs on me, which when they see this video tomorrow morning, because I know that they're going to want to, they're going to keep up with me and do all that and analytically I can track that because they're idiots they don't have YouTube channels that you know they go up to the library and check on a computer and watch all the analytics and where everything comes from and all that shit they're not as smart as me think that they're gonna get an upper hand over me right so I'm gonna enjoy my pork and the stove that was given to me by my boss in the home in the home that I built. Look at that. Look at that big old smiley face right there. That I built.
So, yeah. Anyways. Um, I think I'm going to end it there. I have a lot to think about. I got to write about some stuff. And uh, hopefully I see you guys tomorrow. But if I end up dead or murdered, y'all know exactly what happened. Right? I'm pretty sure you all can put the pieces together, especially the FBI and the CIA by watching my YouTube. Plus, once this is uploaded, it's it's there forever. And my Google Doc backup and stuff like that. <sighs> Which, it's whatever. But, yeah, I got some stuff to write down. So, for all you people who are hurting yourselves, and think about that logically, the more you try and put this fork in the dirt, the more you're going to hurt yourself. A, meaning you fucked up, and if you keep fucking up, you're going to be hurting yourself. That meaning, if you don't stop alienating me, if you don't stop treating me the way you have been, then you're just going to make it worse for yourself because at the end of the day, this all gets reviewed by somebody. At the end of the day, this all gets reviewed by somebodies. And at the end of the day, I have a lot more somebodies than they do. And mine happened to be the law. So take that, think about it, and decide whether you're throwing this fork in the dirt or not, because depending on what you do, you're never ever going to have a fork again. You'll have a little tiny chopstick set or a little plastic spoon in prison somewhere where you'll stay for a really, 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 really long time. And you want to know what? The story will get out about what you've done, what you've done, and what you've done, and guess what? There's a lot more motherfuckers in the bullpen, prison, that would eat your heart out with a fork for what you've done and how you treat people. Fix it, or I'll do it myself, and that's going to be where uh, the, the what is it, United States Marshal Service, and, you know, I'm going to start making a lot of calls real quick, and all it takes is me calling, plus all it takes is me disappearing, so I've been sitting and waiting for a long time for the behavior to stop, and it hasn't. Um, hmm, I don't like that, so, I don't know, make the choice, it's up to you, bye.